What would you do? Because people scared to die. These boys had death in their feet. And all they had to do was bow. Just that simple. Now, when you hear all of these instruments playing, just bow. The devil will try that again. You know, when Jesus got caught up in the wilderness, right after he got baptized, he said, I'll give you all of this if you just bow down. And Jesus like, how you going to give me something I already own? Right. You don't watch the devil trick you out of stuff that you already own. That child said, I believe and died. These boys were, were, were in position, they was over people, but still held on to their convictions. Even if it meant death. I've been told you my second verse, I've been saying it all the time. I said the first verse about it. Don't fear man, they can just kill you. Fear God who can kill you and send you to hell. These men had death in their face and they stood strong. That's the type of soldier God looking for. That you okay with, with, with saying who you are in the break room. You okay with telling people who you stand for on the, on the group call, in the group text, and you don't let everything fly because I am God's child. These boys stood with death in their face and it's two things that you can't fight or you're never immune to and that's water and fire. You can't dig in and go drown once and then go back in the water. I drown once, I can't drown again. Go let that try. You can't go in there and put your feet on that stove and burn your feet and say, well, I done been burned. I can put my feet on the stove anytime I want to. Go do it. And you're going to get burned every time. Those are the two things that the human body will never be immune to. What did he destroy the world with the first time? What did he destroy the world with the second time? Y'all better let the pass up in here. Two things we'll never be immune to water and fire. And your body is made up of 98% of water, and water still can kill you. Great God. You got to be willing to stand. We even don't know the outcome. But guess what? He got we have a problem with our standing when we know the outcome. If I tell you to come and interview for a job and then what's we here, it don't matter what happened, you got the job anyway. That's gonna be the worst interview you ever had. Because you ain't concentrated on an interview, you already know you got the job. That's why God don't give us the outcome all the time, because he wants to see what we gonna do, how faithful we gonna be, how often we gonna pray for it. How much of us we gonna give to him to get what we want? You got to trust the man, even when you don't know the outcome. And I'm not your have. Four reasons you should trust God's plan. The first reason you should still trust it, even when it don't look good. You should still trust God's plan, no matter who the enemy is. You should trust God's plan, even when you don't know the outcome. The fourth one I'm not your have. You should trust God. Because you know he gonna show up. Mm -hmm. You got to trust him when it don't look good. You have to trust him no matter who the enemy is. You have to trust him when you don't know the outcome, and you still got to trust him because you know he'll show up. Mm -hmm. When the king looked in, he thought his calculation was off. He said, hey, y'all, did we put three people in there? He said, yeah. I said, what? It looked like I see food. And then y'all missed it if you was reading too fast. He threw a in his back on. He said, when he looked at it, he see four men loose. He said, go back, go back, go back. If you read it and read it right, he said, they threw three men in. But when the king looked in, he said, four men loose. God is so good, the thing that was supposed to burn you up, don't touch you, but it takes your bounds off. The fight 
thing is how to know to break the, to, to burn the ropes, but it wasn't how to get the burn either. Right. Because God will show up. The thing that was supposed to take you out made you stronger. The thing that was supposed to uh, take you out made you think bigger. The thing that was supposed to take you out got to come to church every Sunday because God will show up. Barbara Seth said, stronger, I'm wiser, I'm better, oh, I'm so much better. Because God showed up. And listen, they was willing to go in the fire, not even knowing God was on the way. And that's why I love serving God. Not only can he send you a blessing, not only can he speak a blessing, sometimes he can get in it with you. I hit you with this little story that I heard. It was his grandfather at his um, daughter's house. And, and, and the little baby was in the, the cradle and he was crying. And he went and picked the baby up and got him out the cradle. And, and his daughter came and said, hey, my pops, we trying to let, let the baby self soon, put him back <laughs> and, and in the cradle. So my granddad, heart heavy, put the little baby back in the cradle. Two, three minutes later, the baby started crying again. Right there, go on. Get the baby out of the cradle. Get back in the rocking chair. And daughter's whole happened to come in the living room and say, Daddy, did I tell you? We trying to lift the baby self so put it back in the cradle. Or heavier than it was the first time. Take the little baby, put it back in the cradle. Three, four minutes later, baby started crying again. After a minute, the daughter heard the baby. And stop crying. So now she coming in stomping. Daddy, what I told you. When she looked and daddy wasn't in the rocking chair. She said, he, you said I couldn't get the baby out of the cradle. You never said I couldn't get in the cradle with the baby. Sometimes God will get in the cradle with you rock you in the midnight hour. I will tell you, I never leave you know for safety. Sometimes he'll get in there with you. That's why we're in the season now because Adam messed up, Abraham couldn't fix it, Moses couldn't fix it, so God said, I'm getting your body like a man and let me get in there with him. Yeah. And he was born of the Virgin Mary, went to the cross, died on the grave, and it from the grave because he got in there with us. We serve a God that will show up. And that was over 2,000 years ago. Some of us could testify he showed up last week. God, he showed up last month. He showed up last night. We serve a God that will show up. You show up, show up in your teens, show up in your twenties, show up in your thirties, show up in your forties. Some of us in our eighties say, "You show up." Oh, we serve a God. Gotta show up. That's why you got to trust the plan. Even with tears stained eyes, you got to trust the plan. Even with a heavy heart, you got to trust the plan. Cause I'd rather him get in the cradle with me. Then leave me in the cradle by myself. The doors of the church are open. Woo! You may be here now. She said, I can't get you out the cradle. She never said, I can't get in there with you. Woo! We serve a God that I get in there with us. 